How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Lionheart plays here. Today we're going to be bringing you the Elite Battle League Season 4 uh, Week 1 against the Indiana Igly Buffs. <clears throat> Just a little bit of a back background if you haven't been around. Definitely check out the other playlists for Seasons 1, 2, and 3. Formerly the Miami Dragonites. Uh, now we're the uh, Florida for Alligators as you can see right above. Temporary team of course. Just playing around with things. Anyway, as you guys know... Um, as the coach, me, I've had the longest EBL win streak uh, in EBL history. <clears throat> and this season, I was kind of sort of taking it chill. Um, and, you know, uh, yeah, so I was just taking it things chill and whatnot. Um, let's see how, that, how long that lasts if I don't get competitive during battle. But um, I hope you guys enjoy. Again, Bob is a great battler. I'm not even going to bother, uh, you know, deciphering who he potentially brought to the team. Or to the battle because I am prepared. I am prepared for nothing. Uh, I did. I formulated a quick battle plan, ran through a couple of people just to make sure that it was a good plan, and then that was it. Didn't do much preparing at all. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how how bad Bob beats us. We'll see how far we get. We'll see how close we get. Um, uh, Bob is a great battler. I know I'm a good battler. Um, so it's kind of hard to say who's going to be in the lead, who's going to win and all that good stuff, but definitely check out Bob, check out all the coaches. Their links are going to be in the description below. Check out the EBL channel. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Best of luck, Bob. I'm <laughs> fully prepared to lose this match, to be honest. <sighs> to be honest, I am fully prepared to lose this. Is the game audio on? Of course it is not, but it is now on. So, you come out first. What do you got? What do you have? I'm bouncing out, though. Did a decent amount of damage. Um, who do I want? I should have brought a steel type move now that I'm thinking about it and I th thought against it. Let's go with Freya. Let's go with Freya. Stealth Rock. Okay. You brought the Stealth Rock for the Lugia, maybe. And that is a okay. <laughs> you brought Minimize. I'm never going to be able to hit him, and... He's never going to be able to kill me. Ah, that para. Got him. You avoided the attack. Okay. I think I know why you did that. Baton pass. So I'm going to go ahead and protect myself. It's going to use baton pass. I need to hit it with this mystical fire. Hit. Yes. So now we got a special attack drop. And it's going to be carrying on over to that Magirna. Yep. Okay. Can we hit the Magirna with this? 
Yes, we can. And we got another special attack drop. But it's bulky. And I know we're going to live this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to force this thing to switch out. I'm going to force this thing to switch out. I need this T-Wave to hit. Wow, okay. That was a crit. That crit mattered. It didn't. Yeah, it was a crit. Okay. Well, this is where the problems begin. I'm about to get swept. was bad. I just need the T-Wave to hit. Thank you for hitting. Thank you for hitting. I probably should not have done this. But the Magirna is sort of kind of useless because it's on neutral, but he's keeping it in. Now it's at plus one, I believe. Or maybe it's neutral, because I think I hit it twice with the Mystical Fire, right? I don't remember. Will an Earthquake hit something that's minimized? Well, that goes down. So Magirna's gown. And I know for a fact that this Cinderace is probably going to be faster if he brings it out. Sableye.
I don't think there's anything wrong for us to go with an earthquake. It's definitely not definitely not living another EQ. And whatever is coming out is not going to like an EQ. So he's probably going to sacrifice this thing. Who did he bring out? He did not. He brought a... Blah, blah, We should still roll with the EQ. He withdrew that. Who's Karen? Okay. That bitch is tanky. Let us swap out to... I don't think you would hurt. And let's reset the toxic. Soft boiled, okay. I should have put a steel move on this thing. I definitely should have put a steel move on this thing. Guy's just gonna use soft boil. Okay, he predicted that. Ooh, he hit the will o wisp. Okay. He hit the Will-O-Wisp. The Zashian got burned. And it freaking missed. Okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Not really, but... It can learn recover. Okay.
Cinderace. Okay. Letting Grimmsnarl go down e uh, first was uh, not the best choice, now that looking in hindsight. But it is okay. I think that this thing is going to take out my actual ghost type weakness and give me... I have a barrel now, right? This thing is going to use protect. And it has speed boost. It's going to use protect. Speed boost. No, throw chop. Okay. Use protect. Are you going to baton pass out of here, G Gigantamax to uh, Cinderace? Let's go with that. Let's see what he does. Magnezone. Magnezone. It's going to Dynamax this Magnezone. Yes, it is.
We're gonna take away the flying type weakness. See if we can <laughs> see if that uh, multi scale is gonna help out this lightning attack that we're about to take. It helped. It helped. All right, so Luke, it goes down here. GG's, Bob. You did a good job. Hello. These animations take a lot. But I'm gonna at least I'm gonna get a kill. And take this thing out with me. If there hadn't been timer, I, fir I firmly believe that this Barrascuta would have killed that Cinderace. If there wasn't a timer, I know I would have won. But GG's, Bob. Good job. Definitely not the strat that I was thinking, although you sort of kind of did it, but not really. That minimized saved your ass. Good job. Hmm. I don't know what the point is, but hey. Yeah, I don't know what the point is. <laughs>